Well, this is my blown up uh, speed reducer. And uh, now that I've got an old part, I can see um, what damage has been done. Uh, not too much, really. Uh, it needs new belts. Uh, you can see inside this cover, uh, there, there was a lot of belt wear. Not sure if you can tell, uh, but there was also the uh, one of the sheaves was rubbing on the sides uh, of the case, uh, the idler shaft, and this um, get the idler shaft here and the uh, input output shaft there. Uh, if you noticed in the other video that I took with the boroscope that uh, the belts were not riding on the grooves. Well, it turns out uh, the grooves are exact uh, width of the belts as far as the grooves on the sheaves. So this, the belts were not riding uh, properly, which is probably due to not tension properly. Uh, there is a tenor for each end of this idler uh, that you also noticed in the um, previous video these spring-loaded bolts actually screw through the shaft and tension it, tension the belts. So uh, on this input-output shaft you can see that it looks like grooves there but that's just markings from the belt riding off of the uh, uh, grooves it's supposed to be riding on. This thing is um, probably just not tensioned properly. Uh, you can see that that that, that uh, idler shaft just floats in there. Uh, it can have some back and forth movement also. So proper tension is critical uh, to keep the belts lined up and that the, those two belts will keep that idler shaft um, centered in the case uh, so they can't ride against the uh, case and, and uh, create some wear. Uh, this is the, uh, the sheave that had the wear. All the bearings look good. A little bit of wear on the end of that, right on the end here, which is not critical. Uh, just file some sharp edges down. Uh, all the belt grooves are in good shape. Uh, so I think just a couple of belts and clean up and uh, test run and, and adjust the tension to where I think it's uh, good. Um, this input output shaft up here is is actually two piece, whereas the idler is, is one piece except for the floating shaft. The, the shaft floats and, and so this thing can just walk. Uh, it's just the, uh, the belts that keep it centered. And uh, this input output shaft, uh, this is the output end. Uh, the other end obviously being the input. Let me get this belt off of here. This is a two-piece shaft and uh, it has needle bearings in there, a large needle bearing for the large diameter part of the uh, shaft and a smaller needle bearing for this end. And uh, when it's in place on there, that's as far as it goes. There's a small gap. There is a small gap between the two sheaths, a small sheath and the larger sheath. And that is um, that is able to uh, maintain that gap there because of the bearings inside this sheath sheave. So anyway, uh, it's going to be time to order some belts and do some cleanup, and um, we'll do a video on reassembly and um, look at uh, belt tensioning. Thank you.